Hello everyone, I'm Ginger Gaming and welcome to Stardew Valley where today uh, we're gonna read our mail and it says I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you my daughter and I want to carve a jack-o-lantern for the upcoming Spirit Eve festival Caroline of course Caroline I could do that for you no worries no worries anyway guys uh, welcome back to the episode um, I'm just getting straight into it. Uh, we need to upgrade our pickaxe and we need to upgrade it fast. Um, I've been looking at getting some iron. As you can probably see. Uh, there we go. I've been also uh, getting some trash into the uh, trash thingamajig. Not sure what it's called, but it can um, get all trash and it can throw it in there and uh, make something else out of it. I believe. I mean, that's that's what they say it is, at least. Like, you throw in a broken CD and it's gonna cook up and there's gonna come something else out of it. Um, also, we need to collect some more um, resources. Uh, I wanna get a little bit more stone uh, and a little bit more wood as well, because uh, we're trying to make more of uh, those preservation uh, thingamabobs. Where is my... I think it's this one, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, so we want to make more preservation thingamajigs. Uh, meaning we need to... Uh, I need to head over to Caroline, by the way. Uh, but if we have more of those preservation things, we can get more uh, money. Because that's what we want, right? More money. We want some more of that money. So what I'm planning on doing right now is give our plants some water. Uh, just getting ready for the uh, winter already because it is getting close to winter right now um, not on re not in real life of course right now it's midsummer at least close to getting summer and uh, we shouldn't have to worry about uh, winter right now for in real life but in the game it's actually getting quite close to winter um it's already the 19th of fall that means we have uh, around five days left of fall until it becomes a little bit colder and we need to oh look we got some quartz out of it refined quartz nice 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 that's for broken cd is pretty good um yeah so we have to keep an eye out on the fact that it's becoming winter slowly and that we do need to um do something about it it's i mean i don't mind that it's gonna be uh winter soon because we are gonna uh get some other stuff from the winter for instance we are gonna get uh, ourselves one of the uh thingamajigs done um what's it called the community center thing um yeah, we're gonna get that thing done. Uh, also, in the winter, I wanna take a little bit of a closer look towards uh, getting... Um, what do you call it? The... Uh, bus repaired. Because if we get if we get the bus repaired, I'm real quickly gonna head over to the community center. Oh wait, we, we don't have to head over to the community center because we don't have anything to hand in to the community center. Um, I can show you guys right in a moment in the thing buying one amethyst at uh, three times the market value please deliver directly into my hands i can do that clint i can do that um so yeah claire should be in here right hello i have pumpkin for you so yeah it was it was caroline yeah it wasn't claire it was caroline and you should be Caroline, right? Yeah, it's a fine looking day. Sure it is. Here you go. Oh, the pumpkin. Uh, it's a good one. Abigail will be so happy when she sees this. Thanks, Mike. Abigail's right here. Like, <sighs> why not show her right now? Like, she's next to you. Oh, she's so, show. no, no. She's just walk. She just, is there a back door there? What, what, what in the name? What is this? Oh boy. I don't feel like I need to be here. Oh boy. Oh hi, good morning, Mike. I'm glad you came in. Oh boy, what is this? <laughs> uh, I've been meaning to show you this. It's my private sunroom. What the hell? Uh, so what do you think? Uh... 
not as good as my farm. No, I'm not not that big of a dick. It's beautiful. Uh, thank you. I've worked very hard to make it this way. Uh, you see, this is my sanctuary, a place where I can always find peace. I mean, I can get why. Uh, and this is perfect place to drink my homegrown tea. Here, let's have a cup. I don't think I should trust it. Right? Have a cup. I mean, fine. Sure, I guess. Delicious. I love to come in here for a fresh cup of tea every day. It's my little ritual. Uh, let me try to explain. Oh boy, here comes some backstory. I've never had this before. Uh, when I'm alone with relaxing tea. My mind is empty and free to wonder. Oh boy. Uh, who knows what might appear. It's a ghost! Oh my god, look out! Oh my god, it's a real ghost! What? What the hell is that? What is that? What? What? Uh, I hope that, ma that makes sense. No! <laughs> Life can be pretty hectic, so have a hobby like this. It's nice. Uh, feel free to come here and relax anytime you want, okay? Sure. I... I did not know that was a thing. I did not know that was a thing. Uh, sure. Sure. Am I like good enough friends with... Yeah, I am. So that was uh, hard level two. Okay, cool. How am I actually on social? So yeah, we are hard level two with uh, Caroline. Marnie, we're still hard level one, so that's bad, sad. I don't know what to call it. Um, yeah, so we can head straight over to um, what we call it, Clint. Oh yeah, we were also looking at the um, community center because, as you can see, we right now have to go for the spring crops bundle. That's gonna happen next year, as well as these things and these ones. And uh, look, crafts room is almost done. Just snow yam and crocus. That's, I'm very close to it. And I also want this one to get uh, done as well. It's a sandfish, just a sandfish, that's all. And we still need to hand in like uh, 35,000, which is also not there yet. Uh, the enchanters bundle, still a lot of random stuff to do. Uh, not to the shell, that's the only thing we have left. And the red cabbage together with the duck feather. Um, red cabbage is actually something we can't grow yet until year three, I think. Uh, but we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it uh, how it goes. So what I'm gonna do is actually give you uh, upgrade tools. I want a steel pickaxe, please. Sure, why not? Yeah, and I'm gonna give you a of a bob as well so let's head over to the bus stop yep and you've been asking for let's see we got 500 gold out of that one and you've been asking for uh one amethyst okay well good thing good thing we actually have uh stored our amethysts because um, Abigail likes amethyst, so we just keep them around. We keep a lot of our ores around, by the way. Uh, we can also throw this one in the trash, or at least in the trash uh, re, re, re builder, or whatever you like to call it. So an amethyst, there we go. So we're gonna head straight back to our good old pal, Clint. Oh, Clint, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm just, I mean, we just have to wait until all of our things are done. I also want to collect that, but I first want to get over to Clint. Let's get the amethyst in our hand. Hello, Clint. Here you go. Hey, so you saw the ad I posted. I really appreciate it. Here's a little something for your troubles. Nice. So we got 300 gold. Cool. So we got 100 gold out of just one amethyst, but this actually got us a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, 
What I want to do now is actually chop down a bunch of trees. No, I don't want to eat the blackberry. I want to take the... I want to take this one. Thank you very much. Uh, we still have some space in our inventory left. We can chop down these trees over here. I know the one up, up there is also choppable, but... Ah, uh, it's a bit too late to do that right now. No, is it? So we are just going to chop down these trees. Um, I'm hoping to get as much wood as we can. Afterwards, we can collect as much stone as we can. And by the means of that, we can actually get ourselves the uh, thing we wanted. I hope. And I hope we can actually use this to get a lot of money. And I want to use the winter time as much as we can to get a lot of money as well. Um, just because if we get a lot of these things, we can get a lot of money real quick. And that is my original plan. Oh, look at that grass. It's beautiful. It's beautifully arranged. Definitely not hand arranged. <laughs> Yeah, so we should also get a lot of animals as well, but we don't have the money or the resources right now to get an a to get some animals. So that's why we also need to chop down trees for that as well. Uh, but I feel like animals is the last thing on our line on our list of things to do. It should actually be the first thing on our list to do, but um, yeah, there's a lot more. Uh, there's a lot of other things going around right now that I want to uh, take care or take care of first. For instance, the fish bundle, which is almost completed. Um, and I just want that to be finished. I want to slowly finish off all of the bundles. Uh, we should also upgrade our house so we can get a kitchen. Because that would help with one of the bundles as well. And uh, that's also a thing we should keep an eye out for. Um, we should probably get rid of some stuff out of our inventory. So yeah, that made a torch. We can open this guy. And we can throw in, I guess, all of the things we have. Sure, why not? And we can just get this guy and the other newspaper in there. Okay, let's head back over here. So yeah, I want to continue chopping down some trees. I want to make sure we get as much trees as we can. Um, because wood is very important. I would like to have a little bit more wood. <laughs> I am hilarious. I am the joke itself. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we do need to collect a lot of this stuff. It's uh, it's actually quite time consuming if you think about it. But we have the time, right, guys? We have the time. Uh, after this, I'm actually going to head straight to bed, I believe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we could head straight to bed after this. And next day, we could collect a little bit more wood. And the day after that, we can actually collect a lot of stone. Hello, doggo. How are you doing? Just giving the dog some love. Because you should always give the dog some love. Um, yeah, so... We're actually almost out of energy right now. And we're actually running out of trees on our lot as well. Which is quite weird to think about. Like, hey, we are running out of trees. I mean, I have been deforesting uh, this area for quite some while. I mean, I am saying we're running out of trees, but if you look at the bottom left, there's a lot of trees. At least to the left of the camera, there's a lot of trees, but... It's a thin layer, okay? It's a thin layer of trees. Ah, Doggo is a little bit tired of running all of these circles. Uh, okay, but I hope with the pickaxe upgrade, we can actually uh, chop down um, those stones that are in the bottom the map and uh, with that we can let me just get rid of this thing real quickly and with that we can actually uh, start to oh boy I'm starting to feel exhausted so we're just gonna keep uh, leave this thing on the ground over there uh, we can leave it there for a bit uh, we're real quickly gonna head to bed there's a storm approaching as well by the way but we should just uh, we should be fine for now. It it should be very rainy and very stormy tomorrow. We can make a lightning rod as well. Nice, nice, nice. Not sure what goes into making a lightning rod, but you can get some stuff out of it. Um, not sure what what's involved in making a lightning rod. Crafting. So a lightning rod. Uh, one iron bar, one refined quartz, and 
Oh. We can make it right now. Uh, we have bat wings. We have everything that's necessary. So we're just going to grab the four five and one of these. Uh, we can get rid of this guy. Uh, we can start to craft and make a lightning rod. There you go. I mean, it is lightning right now, so... We can just place this guy over here, I guess. See? Lightning. There we go. Also, we can collect uh, that thing. Dear Mike, thanks for uh, stopping by my sunroom yesterday. I usually drink tea alone, but it was very fun to share with you. I have a close instructions on how to prepare and grow your own tea. Damn! No pressure, but if you do end up growing some, make sure to bring me a cup. Uh, new crafting recipe, tea sapling. Damn, Caroline! Out here handing out some tree... Uh, some saplings. Nice. Yeah, so we are definitely gonna get into that as well. That's definitely not a bad idea. We also have 521 wood. Which I would like to uh, show you guys, <laughs> or at least tell you guys. And I'd like to say that because it's a wood bun. <laughs> yeah, so we do, I let's just collect real quickly all of these. We don't have to water our plants, so that's nice at least. There we go, that's all collected. We can also collect these guys. There you go. And we can use these guys again to fill it up. There you go. Nice, nice. So yeah, we still have a bunch left. Uh, we actually have quite a bit left. There you go. But we still, uh, but with these pickled pumpkins, I believe if we sell them, there you go. We got a lot more. At least a lot more. We get a little bit more. Uh, which in turn would give us a little bit better returns. Should be, right? Okay, um, so the idea is to actually... What happened here? Like seriously, what happened here? Okay, weird. Yeah, so we should chop down some more trees. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's chop down a little bit more trees. Um, there's nothing else exciting going on today. Uh, we could real quickly take a look at the crafting recipe for a sapling. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we can actually craft. Oh my god, I've never actually taken a look at this one. But we can craft a lot of stuff. And... Uh, a life elixir. Ooh. Damn. And an oil of garlic. Interesting. Trapator, spinner. Okay, so here. Tea sapling. So, any wild seed. Five wood and five fiber. It takes 20 days for... Uh, mature and produces tea leaves during the final week of each season except winter no watering necessary oh that's that's nice uh so we can play we can plant it in the winter uh the sapling and um then we can actually get it in the uh spring we can actually get some tea how nice, how nice. So yeah, I'm gonna chop down all of the trees real quickly and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm done chopping and turns out I barely made a dent into whatever amount of uh, trees there are down below, but we are done with chopping down a bunch of trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna head to bed. There we go. See how much we made. 6,900, nice, nice. So yeah, those, um, those pickled uh, pumpkins do uh, give us a lot of money. There we go. So now we have 10k in money. And the rest of our pickled food is ready. So we're just going to get this out. Thank you very much. I believe you are done as well. Yes. A yam. We can just pickle it. Why not? Can we pickle? Can we re-pickle this? Nope. <laughs> yeah, let's just sell these two. Sure, why not? Uh, let's water our crops because, well, we do need to water those guys, otherwise they're going to dry out. That's not a good idea, now is it? Um, let's just, there we go. And these ones, there you go. Okay, just do down. And we can do bam, bam. And bam, bam. 
There you go. Cool. So, uh, we've collected some pine tar as well. We can give you a little bit of water. There you go. Uh, three days left until uh, it's going to be a new season, which is great. I can't wait. Uh, okay, there we go. We have collected... Ooh, look at this. Not sure what we can do with a battery pack yet, but we can still... Like, it's fully charged with precious energy. Nice, nice. Uh, so what I suggest is let's just grab a bunch of... We can, by the way, get rid of you over there. Let's grab a bunch of these guys. Uh, what are we going to throw in there? What are we going to throw in, guys? I guess we still have hot peppers left. Five. We can just do these guys. We still have a lot of these left. So let's just do this. Thank you very much. Let's go out and collect our pickaxe. Let's chop up a whole bunch of stuff. And... Yeah. Let's see how much we can actually do. Uh, so I'm just gonna head straight to town. Hello, hello, my little friend. It's locked, so yeah, it do we do need to wait a little bit until it's open. Um, meanwhile, we can just real quickly collect some stuff. Can we hand this in into the museum? Is this something? Okay, never mind. Never mind then. I've said nothing. I've said nothing at all. Uh, yeah, we can, we can pick this up. There you go. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna wait. Or at least, uh, I mean, I can wait until it's open, but we can just real quickly uh, rummage through some trash and uh, get straight to it. Because now it's already night, so there we go. If we head straight back. Doot, 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 doot. Uh, by the way, we now have enough money uh, to actually go, go ahead and get one of the lo one, one of the bus upgrades. There we go, steel pickaxe. Haha. -ha. Okay, so let's head straight back to home. Uh, I want to chop up a. I want to see how much we can actually get out of um, those big rocks that are on my land. So let's real quickly get you. There you go. So we've got our pickaxe. Check. Uh, we've got a land full of rocks, check. So I guess the only thing we have to do is head straight down and start digging up. I mean, how much are we gonna get out of these guys? Or do we need an even better pickaxe? No, this is the correct type of pickaxe. Oh my god, 15 stones. So yeah, that does help a lot. Um, so yeah, with this new collection method, we should be able to real quickly get a whole bunch more of those uh, preservation jars. And that means that we should get a lot more money, or at least um, the chance that all of these those things will do be done up there will be bigger. So <clears throat> there will be a lot more. Uh, we, we can do it a lot more, those uh, preservation methods which would increase our money income, or at least our, the speed that our money is gonna get in. Because right now we just have to wait until it's done, every single one, but I kind of wanna uh, make it so we don't really have to wait that much. And right now I guess we can make like three of them. So that's at least good. Uh, yeah, how much is a preservation? So yeah, it's 40 stone, 50 wood and eight coal. So we've got 150 stone, which is always nice. Always nice to have a little bit of stone. Uh, we can also dig up this thing. There you go. Oh, it's not that much. Damn. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, we still have a lot more stone on our land to dig up. And that should help as well. And we also have... We could also go into the mines uh, and collect a little bit more stone. Because we do need coal as well. And it just dropped. So that's nice. Uh, but that's not enough coal to actually go ahead and finish everything off. Of course not. No, 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 no. That would be too easy now, wouldn't it? So let's just do this. There we go. Now we can grab our pickaxe again. Boom, boom. Uh, grab the scythe again. There you go. Oh boy. There you go. So let's grab our pickaxe again. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Nice. So yeah, um, there's a bunch of things I want to do, but I think what we have to do is actually wrap up our episode, because we are getting to the wrapping up point, and I feel like it should be 
a good idea to wrap up so i want to thank you guys so much for watching uh i'm gonna dig up a little bit more stone uh i'm gonna ask you guys to give this video a like if you liked it to subscribe to the channel if you're new and to hit that bell icon to never miss an episode anyway guys i'm just gonna finish off digging up some stones and i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye Ooh, frozen geo